love cats. I love every kind of cat. I just want to hug all of them, but I can't get hug every cat. Get hug every cat. The lady way I. What's up? Hey guys. It's been a hot minute. Two yes. Hot minutes. You can definitely tell we have a lot to cover. A lot to cover. We got lots of stuff. So, my name is Lauren. I am Cat Lady Stitcher here on Floss Tube and on Instagram. And I'm Kathleen, and I am not on Floss Tube unless it's with her. Um, I don't have a cool nickname, so I'm just Kathleen. But she is on Instagram as well. Yes. You can, she posts some cross stitch things there. Yeah, sometimes. <clears throat> so, it's been a while since I've seen you guys. I've had a lot of stuff going on. So, with that, I'm going to jump in with the best new thing. Because my best new thing is my cute little nephew. My sister had a sweet, adorable baby boy this past week. Um, he is half Venezuelan, half American. So, he's got gorgeous dark hair, a head full of it, and he's adorable, and he's my little squishy, and I'm gonna call him squishy all the rest of his life. And I don't know, I don't usually get like emotional about other people's kids, but when I saw all the pictures that she took of um, her sisters and the baby, I was just, it made me happy on the inside. Never felt that for another like person's baby. That sounds really weird, but... I, it was really cute, and I enjoyed all of your pictures. I miss him so much already. They live two hours away, so it's not too far, but I had to work. So it actually worked out because he was born on July 3rd at 2 in the morning, and I had already, his, her due date was last Friday on June 29th, I believe. Um, and so I preemptively took Monday and Tuesday off from work, and then we had Wednesday off for 4th of July, so it worked out perfectly because he ended up coming, like, right around that time. Um, but I miss him. And I'm not going to post any pictures on YouTube, but if you want to see a few pictures that I've shared, they're on Instagram, um, same name, Cat Lady Stitcher, so you can see those there. What's your best new thing? So, I guess it's, it's, going, it's going to be my new, new best thing, so... I don't know how much you guys know about me. I've been on her on floss tube for her two times now, but I'm a huge geek and I love video games. So there's a new video game coming out for the Switch called Octopath Traveler, and they released a three-hour demo that I am just obsessed with. The art style is really cool. It's a JRPG, so it's a Japanese role-playing um, game, I guess. But the art style is really cool. It's kind of pixelated and does really cool things, lighting effects. So super excited for that. That's coming out next week. So unfortunately, with video games, I can't stitch and play video games at the same time. So that is a problem, but I'm still looking forward to it. Might have to download that and try it. Because it's free. Yeah. The, the yeah, three hour one. I don't think you will like it too much, but you might appreciate the art style. But it's, yeah, well, you know, we'll see. Know. All right. So because it's been a really long time, we're going to do, um, both of us have a couple of finishes. So I have one, but then we're going to do a whip parade because I've forgotten. All the whips. I've kind of All forgotten. Of <laughs> I've forgotten how many that I had. So we're going to start with finishes. Um, and I only have one. It's also a new start because I started it last Monday, I think. Like right before, or this Monday. Anyway, I started it and finished it the same week that my nephew was born. So, if y'all remember, and my, I think it was my last video, Kathy, Crafty Cat Stitcher, and I'll link her below if you want to write that down for me, um, sent me a bunch of really great cat stuff in the mail. And one of those things that she sent me was this Leisure Arts Cats Galore booklet. I'm, I'm also really surprised that you're just now getting to a cat cross stitch and your name is Cat Lady Stitcher. Cat Lady Stitcher. So I'm very proud of you. Um, Way to be on brand. I don't know if this like has an, a number to it. There's a number on the back of this, but I don't know if that refers to like which issue this is or not but I'm sure if you like really wanted it 
and you really like really cheesy 80s and 90s <laughs> themed cat cross stitch patterns, um, it's just cat galore from Leisure Arts. So I mentioned that I wanted to make a t-shirt or a sweatshirt of some kind. And so I did a poll on Instagram last week trying to help me decide one of a few different designs that were charted for that kind of thing. And so I'm gonna show you what the one that was voted for the most. And this is by Polly Carbonari. It's this one right here. Kathleen, can they see that? I yep, can't really tell. you're good. Okay. You can definitely tell that that's like an 80s, 90s pattern just yes. by the really ugly colors and it's not the best. So I made some adjustments that I'm very proud of. I basically just took some um, scotch tape and like taped over the pattern so I could make changes without ruining the book. And I finished it today. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a couple of pictures of this as I was working on it. But also over on Instagram TV, I posted um, a like short, it's like three minutes, but basically just kind of explaining how I took the waist canvas off and then a, a time lapse of me doing that. So this, I'm so excited for her to wear this. Is my shirt. I made a Luna lookalike. We point to Luna. This is Luna. It's got the same coloring for the most part. And then Charlie there in the middle. You Otherwise see... known as Science Cat. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to put a picture of Science Cat in here just so you have a reference. Okay. So, but first of all, let me just show this. So I made some changes. Obviously, these cats had these really funky looking bows on them. Um, so I add, made it look more like an actual bow. And then I gave Charlie here in the middle some glasses and a bow tie because why not? Um, and so I'm really excited about it. I used for the first time, I'm a part of two different floss clubs, one for Color and Cotton and one for Victorian Model Sampler Shop. Um, but I've never actually used any of the threads that I've gotten because I've been too like, not nervous necessarily to use them, but I haven't had a project that was small enough that I felt like it would be noticeable that I was using those. And so the coloring for I this cat. love it so much. Ex with the exception of the gray in the middle, that's just a DMC uh, number four. This coloring is all one floss and it's Color and Cotton's um, Cape Cod. <clears throat> I forgot to write that one down actually. It's Cape Cod. And when I saw it, like I knew it was my favorite one that I got in that package, but I didn't know what to use it for. And when I decided to make this, it's like seriously the perfect coloring for Luna's fur. Um, for this bow right here, it's Color and Cotton Carmine, I think, or Carmine. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, and then for the glasses and the dark part of this bow over here, it is Color and Cotton Purple. No, it's Plum Violet. This bow right here is Purple Iris from Color and Cotton. You can see the variegation. That's really pretty. And then the bow tie here is Color and Cotton Bermuda. And then the one that I used for Victorian Motto Sampler Shop, this these red right here, this variegated red is Rustic Rose. I liked that variegation to give it more of a mottled fur look. And then the dark blue, which is kind of hard to see on this collar here is Honor Flag Blue from uh, Victorian motto. So it's my t-shirt. Gonna wear it. So good. All day, every so day. So good. Very excited about We're that. We're gonna be seeing a lot of that shirt. I'm so that's my like... one finish. So unfortunately I don't have anything to show you as far as finishing. We're going to put in some photos here, but, um, I have finished two things since I've seen you last. Last time when we were in Seattle, I showed you some progress on a ship in a bottle or it's like a test tube. And that one has been one of my favorite ones to stitch so far. I just, at the bottom of the, the piece, there is this really cool like octopus tentacle coming up the side. I really enjoy stitching on that. It has a really cool variation on the different water levels so that was really fun also like i said huge gamer 
So I also finished a Yoshi, a Yoshi piece. So it's a kind of a silhouette of Yoshi with Mario in the middle of it. And that was another one that was really fun to stitch. I have a couple of other ones in that in that series. Um, I've started on a Link one, so I haven't gotten much progress on that because I've been working on the other things, but I'll eventually get around to the other three. Nice. So I'm gonna insert, we don't have them with us, so she's gonna send me a picture <clears throat> when I'm editing this. I'm gonna insert those two pictures here with the um, information about where she got those as well. So that's gonna go. Right there. All right, so moving on to whips. All the whips. We have a lot of them. Yes, we do. Mostly um, her, but I have some too. <laughs> so I just got distracted by a, a, an Instagram update because I told you guys that I posted that the time lapse video of my progress on the shirt, and I used my infamous cat song that's at the beginning of all my videos, and someone just commented, "Good job, except the music." <laughs> oh. Oh. It's fine. I love it. I feel come on, it's a cat T-shirt. You can't like not have a cat song in there. So, whatever. Hate all you want. <laughs> Haters. I, I I like the song, but I hate it at the same time because every time she comes out with a new video, I always have to sing and it, it gets stuck in my head. But also, one thing that's really weird is I'll usually, if I'm not in the video, I'll still watch her videos and I'll be at work and she sits right in front of me. So I'm watching her while I'm working, but she's right sitting right in front of me and I already know what she's gonna say, but I still really enjoy it. No. True best friend right there. Um, okay, so I have one, two, three, four, six whips. And you have one, two, three, three, three whips. I've forgotten how many whips that I had because for Stitch Mania, I did Monogamania with um, And a Forest Grew, and that's the only thing I stitched on for a whole month. And then I focused on getting one page of my Hade done because it was depressing to look at and feel like I wasn't getting anywhere. So I've pretty much been a monogamous stitcher on those two items, and then I stitched this shirt. So I haven't really touched any of this other stuff, and I forgot, honestly that I had some of them. So I thought, what better time to do a whip parade and then see what you guys would like me to continue stitching on next just for, to help me decide. So the first thing I got here is the Harry Potter pillow sampler. Let me just, let me say this. I brought this, I got this out <laughs> and the book. I got both of these, okay? Both of Excuses. these. Excuses. No, both of these, I got out, was getting my stuff together, had it sitting on this table, and I kid you not, for like 10 minutes, could not find where I put it. I checked everywhere on this table. I looked under stuff, around stuff, in stuff. You saw me do it. Yes, I did. I looked everywhere. I helped you search for it too. So. Yes, and we could not find it. And finally, I don't really believe in ghosts, okay? Not really. But we have like this running family joke that my great aunt Virginia haunts our family and steals and hides stuff from us. So after about 10 minutes, I was getting real frustrated. I said, all right, Aunt Virginia, cough it up. Where is my stuff? I like, cannot find it. I kid you not, like two seconds later, <laughs> Kathleen finds it on the freaking table. So believe what you will about ghosts, but Aunt Virginia was hiding my pattern. Anyway, Harry Potter pillow sampler. Speaking of ghosts, <laughs> um, that's what it will look like when it's done. And this is where I was at. I don't even remember the last time I stitched this, honestly. So this is where it's at now. It's like three quarters of the way done, I think. Uh, maybe two thirds, probably close to two thirds. But it's gonna look really nice. I've got some um, Marauder's Map fabric that I think I'm gonna use for the backing when I finish it and make it into a pillow. Ooh. I'm actually really excited about this one. I think. I might go back to this one next. That's my vote too. And that is, I'm trying to be better about telling you guys what I'm stitching with and what I'm stitching on because I like to know that information in case I see something that I want to stitch. So I tried to make note of that. 
<clears throat> this is being stitched on just a raw linen. I think I got it at like Hobby Lobby and it's 32 count. And I'm stitching it over two with just DMC threads. So that's Harry Potter, number one. I actually <laughs> have three Harry Potter <laughs> themed pieces in this pile. Not surprised. Harry Potter number two is Luna Love Good Outfits. Both of these are from Clouds Factory. I forgot to mention that. So these are both Clouds Factory. We need to do some sort of cat mashup of Luna the cat and Luna the, the character at some point. <laughs> like <laughs> Luna's long blonde hair on my cat? Yes. I don't think I stitched very much on this, but so they look really creepy, but right now I've just got their <laughs> part of their faces and their hair. Just a bunch of disembodied heads, you know. Pretty much. So um, this is 32 count um, linen that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I hand dyed this myself, which I was actually pretty proud of. I think I just used like the cerulean blue, I think. The powdered dye, the, the rip dye. And then I pretty much YouTubed how to hand dye fabric. Worked out. Yeah. Okay, next, which is also kind of haul because I don't think I showed this to you. I don't think I had it yet when I showed, talked about it last time. Um, I decided to join the Sarah Brazier Sal that is going on on Facebook and Instagram. And it's my first real sampler. Um, sampler in the traditional sense. And so this is from a hands across the sea. This is what the finished design looks like. It's a really nice booklet. It's very thick. It comes with a lot of really cool information. Um, this theme for, I think each one has like a theme with some history in it. And this theme is like the queen of the May. And so it's got a lot of information about, um, which queen is it? I think it's Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. Yeah. Queen Victoria. Um, so I'm stitching this on 40 count Newcastle cream um, even weave that I bought online. I found a crazy good deal. This stuff is not cheap because I needed like a fat half because it's a very large piece even on 40 count. And I'm stitching it one over one and I decided to use DMC. It's charted for silks but I'm poor so doing DMC. I got this on a website that I found that sells Zweigert linen from London for like half the price I normally would have bought it. It was like 30 bucks shipped. So that was pretty good. All I've got is just a straight line, <laughs> part of the border. It's not much. So it's a new start slash whip. It's very blown out, but very tiny stitches. Two more. Next one is And a Forest Grew. I haven't touched this one much since Mania has ended, but I am stitching this on 32 count cream linen from Hobby Lobby yet again. And it is the Rosewood Manor is the designer and I'm stitching it over two. And this is the one that I like miscounted. So I had to make do with. I hope I, would never have picked this out to ever stitch myself. But after seeing her progress on this, I'm obsessed with it. And the colors are just absolutely beautiful. And who would have known that this would turn out so well? I like this a lot. I'm, you know, almost done-ish. I got the top half completed, so I'm... I've got like a quarter of the bottom half completed. So I just, I kind of got burnt out on it after mania. So I haven't touched it in like a month. Okay. And then last but not least, this might become a UFO. I'm still deciding. I'm really, I don't think you need to give up on it yet, but that's my opinion. <laughs> it's a lot more work than it's worth. Let's put it that it way. It is a lot of work, but it's a good challenge, isn't it? I'm, well, so, oh no, it's not my last one. I'm sorry. I have two more. This one I want more. So this is the class schedule sale by, 
I'm so frustrated with the designer that I don't even remember who it's by. <laughs> because I've redesigned every single pattern yeah. on here. So none of this is original to the designer because their patterns are terrible. <clears throat> so I've, I haven't touched this, I think, since the last time you guys saw it. It's supposed to be one class per block with a total of 12 blocks, one for each month of the year. Each month that has been released has been worse than the, the previous one as far as the design content. So I basically redesigned all three of these and borrowed elements from other stitchers who have shared their redesigns um, on some Facebook groups that I'm in. Um, I'm thinking, I mean, look, I haven't looked at it in a really long time because I've been frustrated with it. And so looking at it now, I, I am happy with this, but every time I get a new pattern for the new month in the in like in my inbox I'm just really frustrated and discouraged um, so I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of wait it out and see what classes are released for the rest of the year and then just do six out of the 12 and then save the last that last bottom half of this fabric for something else because I'm just not feeling it because I'm, I'm literally having to redesign every single square um, or you know, someone else is redesigning and sharing their changes for people to use on Facebook because just, just about everybody's pretty frustrated with it. Um, this is Picture This Plus, 18 count, Ada. I don't remember the color. It came in the kit that I bought. I don't remember what fabric it is. And last but not least, my Hade. I, um, I'll insert a picture of what it's going to look like in a very, 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 very long time from now here. <laughs> My focus for that was to get one page done because this has 8,000 stitches per page and there are 72 pages. I'm not sure what that math comes out to, but it's a lot of stitches. <laughs> um, so I've got one whole page complete and I started the next one. And so I'm actually, I mean, it's just gray, a gray blob, but I'm very pleased with it. Um, Cause it makes me feel like I'm actually going to get this done one day, you know? So you can see the majority of that is one color of gray. And then it starts to, to become a couple of other colors here. And I'm stitching this on 28 count Lugano one over one. And that's all of my whips. Finally. What have you got? So I guess on this similar note as your Haid, I have taken up the task of doing The Gamer by Medusa Dollmaker. That's the original artist, but it was a pattern in a kit that I got from Gecko Rouge. And it, I'll show you guys what it's going to end up looking like. I've been seeing a lot of people stitch it and mm -hmm. It just awesome. screams me in a lot of ways. So this is what it's going to look like. It's a little bit, there we go, that's better. Oh. So that's what it's going to end up looking like. So this is another- I'm jealous of that, it's really pretty. Yeah. So it's it was definitely daunting to go and start this up. And I, I've just been stitching since, February, really, so it's been a little daunting, but I've gotten some progress on it so far. So it was really nice to finally start seeing shapes and I'm excited to, I haven't put this up in a while, I've been working on other things, but it's nice to see shapes and other colors coming through, so. What's the fabric count? It is uh, 28 counts. And I can't remember the kind of fabric it is. It's just the easy count yeah. from, where'd you get it from? Did you get it from Heaven and Earth Designs? No, it, it wasn't, it, your it wasn't a Hade. It was a Gecko Rouge. In, okay, so it came in the kit. Yeah, it came in the kit. So and you're stitching it one over one, right? Correct. Thank you for reminding me. I'm trying to do my best. So the, the other, f the finish that I had with the kind of ship in a bottle, one, I am doing another one from them. They're called Austin Design Studios. 
got it off of Etsy. And this one is a fairy tale in a bottle. So haven't gotten much done. I've been kind of hopping around because I'm really excited about these trees down here. But this is what it's going to end up looking like once it's done. So just kind of whimsical and kind of just a smaller um, design so I can finish it uh, faster. So excited about that one. And then I started on another pattern for my dad. And it, this is Joshua Tree National Forest. So cute. And I just really loved all the different patterns and all the different colors in it. And this is, um, oh, I'm sorry. I totally messed this, uh, the names up. So the person that did the, 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 the fairy tale in the bottle and the ship in the bottle, um, their pixel stitch and then awesome pattern studio is this Joshua tree. So this is what I've gotten done so far on it. So getting a lot done on that one. Yeah. So I'm excited about it. I told my dad, I don't know when I'm going to be able to finish it. So obviously this is past way past father's day, but I think he'll enjoy it nonetheless. What are you stitching that on? So this, uh, both of these are just uh, eighteen or fourteen count. It's sixteen count Ada. So, okay, yeah, nothing too exciting. So that's your three. Yep. What was next here? Oh, and you can you want to talk about your sisters? Yeah. It's a whip. So I guess yeah, it is a whip. So I got my sister into cross stitching. <laughs> So that's really exciting. We had a, a little tutorial over um, FaceTime and we were just having a lot of fun with it. So there's my sister, shout out to her. She's also Lauren. Yes, she's also Lauren and they're both the same age. I'm other Lauren. <laughs> yes, it's a little confusing. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but she, oh, that's really bright. Oh. Okay. It's... There we go. So she loves any kind of cacti. It's so super cute. This is her first finish. So that's exciting. So it's it's fun to have another person in the stitch realm that I can talk with. And we went on a family reunion and we were both uh, stitching down by the lake and it was great. So yeah, that's her whip sesh finish. Nice. So next on the list is, looks like haul. Um, I don't have much haul, but I wanted to share it anyway, just because it, like I said, it's been a minute. So like I said, I'm part of the month, Floss of the Month Club for both Color and Cotton and Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. I think I've seen a few people show this month's, or the month of June's Color and Cotton, so I'm not gonna show that one, but I'm gonna show these because I haven't seen them being shown yet. And they're very, very summery and bright. Um, it's like a rainbow. It's like Skittles. It looks like a bag of Skittles. Oh, it really does. Yeah. Um, so if you're not familiar, Victorian Motto Sampler Shop does the Floss of the Month Club for $14.99. I get six 10-yard skeins. Or is it 20? It might be 20. It's a lot of, it's a lot of floss. Um, they're all over-dyed. And I think they're all hand dyed as well. So it's a really awesome deal. And that includes shipping and everything. So that's, you can't really beat it. Um, so the first one we've got is Sunflower Yellow. She also includes, let me see. I've got. That's going to be really blown out. Oh, well. She includes, if it, um, so, um, I think that's about right. If it has a DMC conversion, she'll put it on here as well, but this one does not. Um, this one, I like this one a lot. It's Fisherman's Wharf. DMC conversion is 3816. And then we've got, this one is super bright. Oh, it's called Bright Pink number two. How fitting. DMC conversion is 602. It's a little bit more hot pink than it's actually. It's not quite that hot pink in real life. It's a little bit. I don't really know how to make it not so hot pink, but close enough. 
special orchid. This does not have a conversion. Yeah, that's really pretty. It's it's showing up much more vibrant than it is in real life. It's, yeah, not, it's, it's not quite, oh, that's better. That's about true right there. Yeah. A little bit more muted than yeah. what you're seeing. Glowing Marigold is DMC 725. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, there we go. I should have just been holding it sideways the whole time. That's about true. And then last but not least was Fire Embers, and that does not have a conversion either. Ooh, that's a little bit, that's probably, that's pretty close right yeah. there. So that's that, and then my last, oh, I already forgot about this. So there is um, a designer on Etsy that I have seen people post in Stitch Mania on Facebook. Um, it's Funny Ferret Stitch on Etsy. Um, we might need to turn that sideways here, hold on. Oh. That's probably a better way of doing that. I'm not a professional floss tuber. Sorry, guys. So this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I think it's mostly embroidery, which I've never done. So it's going to be interesting. The pattern, I was very confused about how to read it. So we'll see how that turns out. I got that one. And then she also has book two. And so this is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. These are the best pictures that they had of the whole thing on the site that I could show. Um, but they both look really awesome, so I'm excited about those. And then last but not least, y'all know Hobby Lobby had a great sale on clearance for a while, so a couple, a few weeks ago, I grabbed this Artiste cross stitch kit, and it is um, on Ada, and it just says, you are my sunshine. That's very reflective, there we go. And I just really like the color. And I sing I sing that song a lot when I'm trying to sing babies to sleep. So it's, you know, just a song that I really like. So that is my haul. So I just have one thing for haul. Um, big shout out to Just Keep Stitching and Pam and Steph. They, I think it was right after they, or right before they went to StitchCon, they, I finally started watching Fawston more, so um, that's exciting. Really been enjoying what you guys have been putting out and stuff like that. And I saw that Steph had a Prairie Schooler whip, and I, as soon as I saw it, I ran out and, well, not ran out, ran to my computer, I guess, <laughs> and got it. But it is the Little Red Riding Hood one let's see if we can make it bigger here it's so cute so i'm super excited to start on this i want to finish um the the whip for my dad so this will definitely be the next thing i tackle so thanks steph for introducing me to prairie schooler she likes a lot of the prairie schoolers i now, really do which i would not have like guess that she would. So and it's probably cool. because of your, some of the things that you've done with the samplers, but yeah. Yeah. All right. Next thing I got some stitchy mail and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I was on Instagram, I think it was a couple weeks ago and someone that I follow on Instagram, Stitch in Texan, her name's Pat. It's Stitchin underscore Texan. I will link that below. Um, I don't believe she has a floss tube. I checked and I could not find one. Um, she was, she posted a progress of one of the things that she was working on and I saw this needle minder and I was like, okay, I know I've seen that at least once before and now I really need that needle minder. Where is it from? And for whatever reason, I was really busy and I couldn't get back to my phone after I mess like commented on it. And by the next time that I had checked my phone, she had already messaged me twice and was like, I bought it for you. What's your address? Oh. And I was like, what? So um, I got it in the mail this past week, actually while I was gone um, to out of town to see my nephew be born. And so she sent me this adorable little box and it has a mirror in it. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Inception. Bum, 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 bum. It looks like she may have... Um, like decoupaged it or something herself. I don't know if that's the right term, but it's really cute. Um, and so this is what was in it. I, I've already used this, so it's not even on the thing anymore because <laughs> I broke the rule of floss tube. So let me put it back on the little card. Now it looks like I haven't used it yet. 
So this is from Plan to Stitch, Cross Stitch Planners and More. I think it's on Etsy. Um, oh, look at that. Those kitty cats. It is a, I'm going to, I think it's, it's probably so a adorable. Cup, but I'm going to call it a coffee cup and it is full of cats. Look at all those cats. My favorite is this little cat butt. <laughs> like he got lost. And then they also threw in this other needle minder right here. It's really cute as well. It's like a little, it looks like a gingerbread castle to me. I don't think it is, but that's what it looks like. I'm going to go with it. Um, and then she also threw in this adorable little paper clip with a cat on it. It looks, I had a, an orange tabby cat for a long time growing up, and it kind of reminds me of him. He's so cute. I'm going to have to use that. And then she also sent me my very first Gentle Arts thread floss. I always do that. Um, this is Brethren Blue by the Gentle Arts. It says Simply Shaker. I'm guessing that's like the um, series or something, but that's a really pretty blue. And blue happens to be my favorite color. So thank you so much, Pat, for that. I, I've already been using this like crazy. Not the floss, but I've definitely been using the needle minder. <clears throat> I was using it with my t-shirt. Um, so that's the stitchy mail. And then last but not least, we have some shout outs that I think Kathleen wanted to give some shout outs. Yeah, so I, like I've said a thousand times now, I'm a huge gamer, so I spend a lot of time on Twitch, which is basically a streaming service where mostly gamers kind of show their, them playing games and stuff like that. It, it's really hard to explain that I go and watch other people play video games. I understand that that's a weird concept, but I guess it's kind of like a stitch with me video, but with video games, but they also have a creative section on Twitch that just anyone and everyone can go and live stream their creative project projects are they're working on. So there's a lot of painters, a lot of people going and painting D and D minis. There are I love this one guy. He's he does kind of like song requests, so you can send him his YouTube or YouTube video, and he plays his accordion along to it. So that's a lot of fun. But I found a lot of really cool cross-stitchers on Twitch so far. And there's kind of a group of streamers called Pixel Stitch. And they also have a Discord channel where people can chat, show off kind of what they're working on and things like that. So I haven't really been participating in the Discord, but I've been kind of lurking around and enjoying it. And I've also just been really enjoying everyone's um, experiences at StitchCon. That's kind of what got me into watching FlossTube more. So watching Old Dominion Stitcher and her kind of recap of StitchCon, I was just really curious what it was all about. And hopefully next year we can get to some sort of Treat. Stitch Away retreat. So... We had all of the FOMO. Yes, we did. That's fear of missing out. In case you didn't know. It's a real struggle. So you're in serious FOMO. Um, so that's all we've got. Thanks for hanging around. This is a longer video than I've had in the past just because I waited a while. And you can probably see why. I feel bad if I just like have one thing to show you guys. So um, they probably won't be quite as structured as they have in the past. I'll probably just kind of pop in when I've got some progress to show you guys. Um, but of the whips that I did show you, I would love for you to give me your feedback on which ones that you would like to see me stitch next or have some progress on for my next video. So if you would love, if you would drop a comment below of which one that you would like, um, that'll help me decide because I kind of want to work on all of them. <laughs> um, so I think that's all I've got for you. Be sure to check out um, Instagram, follow me there because I post more frequently on Instagram. Um, and that's all I've got. So thanks for joining us. Y'all yeah. have a great stitchy week. I love cats. I love every kind of cat. I just